Hello guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I was the biggest Karen today. Um, or at least I pretended like I was going to be Karen, which is just as bad. So, <clears throat> I have a best friend that works at a deli counter, so she's probably gonna hate me for this because I hear horror stories. But when I said I was making my $30 mac and cheese, like that's not just a name. Like, the mac and cheese literally cost $30 to make because I buy all this like bougie, like Gruyere and like, you know, like artisan cheeses and stuff like this that I put into it. Like it takes love and $30 to buy. So I brought up my box of cheese and I asked the lady to shred it. And I guess like, first of all, you must be X amount of old to work the deli counter and X amount of bitchy. Like that's what gets you in the door. You know, they're like, oh, you know, we can't take you uh, at the DMV yet, but how about you work the deli counter? So anyway, bitch, if I'm buying $30 in cheese, you're going to shred it, okay? So the one says we can't do that. I'm like, I've been coming here for years, which is true. And I've been getting my cheese there for years because it's like the most expensive like grocery store in my area. So the only one that carries it. So I'm like, okay, so you're up here slicing meat, okay? And you're up here slicing cheese. I already saw her put my cheese through the shredder. Like, I saw her, they're like, well, you know, somebody could have touched it. I'm like, oh, so they would have touched it differently if it were shredded via you up here slicing cheese all day, correct? And I'm like, uh, so I started asking, I'm like, what's your name? What's your last name? Like, I can't remember anybody's name. Like, I have no idea. So the lady says that she talked to the director of the store. And I was like, oh, yeah? I was like, I would like to talk to him. I'm like, he's back in the deli section? No, motherfucker, he's not back in the deli section. You're playing with an amateur. I knew you didn't like me because I had pink hair. And I'm wearing a hoodie that says I'm awesome. If I saw me, I'd be like, look at that asshole, too. I wouldn't like me. Like, I just, I knew they were going to mess with me when I had the pink hair. But don't play because I've been doing this for a long time. So next thing you know, I'm like, oh, well, then can you just slice my cheese as thin as you can possibly slice it? So now this bitch has to sit there and hand slice all my cheese. Oh, it's the hot maintenance guy. Say hi. What up? All right, but anyway, yeah, slice it real slow and real thin there, bitch. And then she's like, is that okay for you? Did as soon as I was like, oh, who's the director? What's your name? What's your last name? They got real nice. And here's the thing. I honestly, go ahead, lady. You're in my way. Thank you. I honestly would never um, take the time of day to actually complain, but I sure the fuck at, would act like I would to get my way. Especially because they, they can't spit or do anything to my food because I'm watching everything they do like a hawk. <sighs> but I'm home now and I hope my rosé hasn't gotten cold. And I have shrimp cocktail because I'm bouging it out. My guy friend called and he was like, my guy friend, and he was like, who are you making $30 mac and cheese for? Like he was getting all jelly. I was like, myself. So um, now that my cheese is thinly shredded, thank you, miss. I work the deli. Um, I'm going to go make some shit. I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry to be that person, but I did today. Bye.